Tang, what's in your wallet? Stone cold. And he could kill you with that pencil. Koyanis Katsi is a kind of visual opera. Directed by Godfrey Reggio and scored by Philip Glass, it's closer to being a documentary than a work of fiction. But there is no dialogue in Koyanis Katsi or clear story. The film progresses from images of nature and mankind's dominance, all to a wonderful score. It's weird, sure, but it's not inaccessible. It works as both a powerful comment on the state of humanity, but also as entertainment. You can watch closely at all the careful observations, or passively, and let the music wash over you. The moment I'm looking at here, however, is one of Koyanis Katsi's moving portraits. Who is this pilot? What has he done? What does he think? We never know anything about him but the track in and the music do suggest something. His face, the length of the shot, these are deliberate choices and they convey something. Essentially, what this sequence does is build up a character that we might want to know more about, and it never returns to him. And that's part of the film, a fleeting glimpse of civilization, but nothing more, because it is fleeting. Tomorrow, sandbags make themselves.